What's up everyone? We are back with Naveen Jain. We're going to be talking about the personalized action plans that we get from Viome, from understanding our gut ecosystem, and also what we can do with all this data. Yes. So it's very interesting is that, you know, we talked about the technology, what is metatranscriptomics, then we talked about how we can actually make illness optional. And now we're going to talk about actually how we make recommendations that are based on your personalized gut ecosystem. Right? So um, as you can understand that Wyoming is the only company that does a functional microbiome test. So every company is either doing a 16S, we talked about completely useless stuff, metagenomics stuff that doesn't tell you what the microbes are doing. And you, what you really need is the matter transcriptomics technology that tells you what is going on. Once we know what is going on, what we do is now there are three things. We want to make sure that you are able to produce lot of the stuff that your body needs, the good nutrients, such as short chain fatty acids, the vitamin K and the vitamin B and all the enzymes and peptides that your body needs. And you want to minimize and eliminate the stuff that is really harmful to your body, such as lipopolysaccharides and the other things that are causing inflammation. And really that is the key of keeping this thing healthy. And the last thing, obviously, you want to increase the diversity of your gut microbiome because the more types of microbiome you have, both uh, in terms of taxonomic side, but really more on a functional side. That means more types of things they are producing, the better we are. That means the more different ways they can produce more different things, the human body will stay better. So what we do is we look at the stuff and say, if you were to eat, think of your gut as a computer. And we're looking at when the input comes to that computer, this algorithm that exists, what would come out of it? Mm -hmm. So we look at the stuff, we know what's here, we know what's, what they're doing, and then we can change the input. So when we say, if you mm -hmm. give the different input, which is different food, mm -hmm. so if I give you almonds, What's going to happen when the almond hits your body? Versus your gut. you, versus, versus Paul and Sally. Paul, yeah. Right? Yeah. So we did a couple of things. Number one thing we did was we did a 1,000 people test. All of them, we actually put a continuous glucose monitor on their arm. Mm -hmm. And then we gave them 55,000 to 75,000 different foods just to see based on their gut microbiome, what, how does their body respond in terms of glycemic response, the glucose level? How does it thing changes the glucose level in the host by understanding what's happening in your gut? And by doing that, now we build a complete machine learning model that tells us when you eat almond, what is going to happen? When you eat carrot, what's going to happen? When you eat grape, what's going to happen? When you eat this particular food, how does your body is going to respond in terms of glycemic response, the glucose response? That's one part. Mm -hmm. Second part, we look at the stuff and saying, we have the food ontology for every single food. And we say, if this food contains this chemical, what, how would this chemical be converted by your gut microbiome? I just want to understand that the glycemic response that you're measuring yeah. for these 75,000 yeah. yeah. people, that also you're, uh, you have a metatranscriptomic of their yes. microbiome yes. as well, so then you're able to relate what's yes. going on in their gut ecosystem to their glycemic response. Absolutely correct. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay. So we are looking at the metatranscriptomics and we're looking at what is being produced in your gut and how does it relate to the response of glucose response on the body, okay. right? And by doing that, now we can predict every food, how your body is going to respond to it. That's one part. Uh -huh. The second part is understanding the ingredients of every food and the chemicals inside the food. So if, you, if you're going to eat a spinach, we see a spinach has oxalic acid. What would happen to that oxalic acid when they hit the gut? Is it going to be detoxified into something benign or is that going to actually end up as a kidney stone because there is nothing in your gut that can detoxify it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our recommendation will be try to minimize or avoid this spinach. spinach yeah, right? yeah. Instead, eat the following things. Yes. Right? Second part of the things are the things that are actually good for you. So things you want to eat that may be antioxidative. Now, you look at the food that are antioxidative, they are not antioxidative in themselves. 
they have ingredients that can make the those foods into antioxidative so such as pomegranate juice it has allergic acid allergic acid is not antioxidative but when allergic acid is converted by the enzymes in your gut it converts into ULA, urolithin A, that is antioxidative. So if your organisms are not producing the right set of enzymes that can convert this uh, allergic acid into ULA, you're not going to get any antioxidative benefit from these food and that is the best or this will end up being causing inflammation. And I, I love how you are breaking down exactly what the ingredient what the yeah. ingredient is within the food, yeah. what it is, and then also something else that I find really good about the Viome platform is that it makes it very relatable for you to see which foods and what amounts of that food, like you were saying yeah. earlier, avoid or minimize yeah. or or have as much as of yeah. this as you want, and that is a direct relation to your gut ecosystem's ability to intake that food That's and right. how, like you said, what input are you putting into the computer That's and what right. is it output? And that is really our food recommendations are all based on real signs that can essentially tell you, and that's the reason thousands and thousands of people now we have tens of thousands of people who have actually done this and we amazing i mean to me the most satisfying thing i get is emails i get every day you changed my life mm -hmm. i ha i had joint pains i no longer have joint pains i used to have acne it's gone my eczema is gone my you know i, I have lost weight i now sleep all night i've never been able to sleep you know, all the conditions that people call chronic diseases, they were simply the symptom. We don't, Viome doesn't diagnose any diseases. We don't claim to cure any diseases. Interesting thing is, all we do is reduce the inflammation in your gut by balancing your gut. Yeah. And when we balance your gut, the things we used to call diseases, those were the symptoms. Those symptoms seem to go away. We don't cure any of these symptoms. They should have never existed to begin with. <laughs> right? We just yeah. fixed the root cause. Yes. Inflammation is a flame in flame, the flame that's burning. We shut the wall off, yes. the gas wall. Yep. And once we shut the gas wall, the flame goes away. away. And suddenly, your red skin is starting to become normal. It's rejuvenating then. Yes. Okay. So now, you, we use tens of thousands of people now have went through Viome yep. and we have all of this data. Yeah. Um, now, this is very interesting. So with this sort of like 95% yeah. difference between yeah. me and you in our gut microbiome, and then if I eat a carrot, it affects me differently than it affects yeah. you potentially. It does. And, yeah, and, and um, it, yeah, and the ecosystem is different. Yeah. And so, okay, so then, there, so there's that. And then, and then you take the sort of, the, the way that you're, the way that you're just able to calculate all of yeah. the all of the all of this information yeah. and what it means moving forward so tell us about that so basically we take all of remember hundreds of thousands of transcripts of all the microorganisms 40 trillion of them we take all of their transcripts we take all of the information you provide us in terms of what's going on inside your body and then we feed all of that into artificial intelligence. And then it starts to crunch and crunch and crunch and crunch and say, okay, here are the foods that you should really be avoiding. Here are the foods that are super foods for you. Here are the other foods you can have in these quantities. And if you were to do that, your body will essentially stay in balance. And the AI is the key. And this is why I've been, you know, really on this mission to solve this problem. The only way we'll be able to solve chronic diseases that we have, you know, hundreds of thousands and the millions of people come together to understand all these different guts, all these different symptoms, what is underlying things. And every single person who joins us not only gets better themselves, it contributes back to the humanity for everyone else to be better. In fact, when you join today, you make everyone before you better. And the people who joined before you are making you better and going to make the next person better, right? Yep. So everyone is contributing back into the people who already joined and contributing further to the people who will be joining. And this is what I really mean. Our pharmaceutical companies have become parasite on humanity. 
Humanity will come together to kill this parasite called pharmaceutical companies. The best day of our lives will be these parasites are essentially dead. Because the pharmaceutical, food is medicine. The food is the medicine. That's the only drug you will need. We'll go back to the thing what Hippocrates says. Let food be thy medicine. Let thy medicine be the food. And I really believe if we come together, we'll get to a point where we'll eliminate suffering. We will eliminate chronic diseases. As a matter of fact, I would argue that our generation is the generation that is going to solve this problem. If our generation does not solve this problem, we are the generation that will be looked upon as the generation that allowed our children and grandchildren to suffer because we were too selfish, we were too self-conceited, we were too self-egotistic that we couldn't come together to solve this problem. Yep. And uh, last bit about data, because I think this is a very interesting yeah. point along the way, is just that with when when I when I submit to Viome, it's we have the general data privacy yeah. rights, yeah. all this different yeah. stuff that's formulating. So, is it a co-ownership of the data? Is it anonymized when it goes into the mm -hmm. AI algorithms? So, yeah. so, first of all, no individually identified data, no personally identifiable data is ever in the database with the information, completely separated, completely encrypted. Mm -hmm. More than anything else, remember, we are doing the RNA sequencing. Unlike the DNA sequencing, your DNA never changes from the time you're born to the time you die. Your RNA sequencing, the basically what's going on inside your gut is constantly changing and adapting. Mm -hmm. That means even if somebody were to hack into it, and somebody were to beat the shit out of you and take that shit and analyze it, it's going to be very different. <laughs> in three months. In three months or four months. So you can go back and say, ooh, that's your poop now. <laughs> mm -hmm. right? so my point is, it is a, is a data what is called a snapshot. snapshot and the snapshot yeah. is constantly changing. Right? Functional but, dynamic. Yeah. In addition to that, we, of course, we have complete HIPAA compliance. I mean, yeah, we use yeah. the Amazon HIPAA cloud, and we obviously wow. keep personalized yeah. identifying information from all the data. We are not a health company, just to be sure. We still follow all the laws all as the laws, if, yeah. Yeah. right? Good. But we are a wellness company. We didn't have to do it, but we do it because we believe in making sure that our customers believe in us. We only do this because we believe we can solve this problem. Awesome. And Alan, just to be clear, you know, you know me. I don't have to start a company. I don't have to do this at all. I could be enjoying a beautiful life on some sunny, warm island. The reason I've spent so much of time I doing it because this problem is worth solving. Yes. And I need every one of your help to help me solve it. Yes. It's a problem of keeping a strong and healthy gut throughout life. Awesome. Thanks, right. everyone.